Hi, Dr. Bill Wiley. Hi, Sean McBafna. We're here to talk about Vuity. It's the newest eye drop to help get that near vision better. If you're like me, you started noticing your arms are getting a little bit too short. You're sort of holding things out here. You're going to, let's say, a restaurant, having trouble reading a menu, seeing even the back of a prescription. How old are you, Bill? Uh, I'm 50. Okay. And, and I'm 53 getting more and more difficult to be able to see things up close. You basically, your arms are too short and you kind of hold things farther and farther out. So this is the newest eye drop just launched by Allergan with a goal of increasing near vision with hopefully not affecting distance vision. This is the first bottle in Cleveland and so we're gonna give give it a shot. And to be honest, I've, you know, I myself am starting to need that help for up close vision. Uh, I look at things, let's say I've got um, let's say this alcohol pad, I can tell it's an alcohol pad, but if I had to read the back of that pad and read the warnings or indications, this fine print, I can't read any of it. So I'm wondering, okay, even my arms, I can't ho quite hold it far enough away to read that fine print. You know, if I use this beauty drop, is it gonna help me see? So we'll see, we'll give it a try, we'll give it a try. this will be the first test. So this is a standard near vision card you'll see at your eye doctor's office and you'll be often be tested to see how well near do you see and like Shamak, my eyes are also a little bit of monovision where one of my eyes sees a little bit better distance and one of, one of my eyes sees a little bit better up close and so with both eyes open i can read down let's see i can read this number three two four i'm struggling a little bit that's 2030 uh with my right eye i can see 2030 but unfortunately with, <laughs> with my left eye i can only see about maybe 2100 so if you look close at this card uh you, you know so the 2100 is somewhere around here basically yeah. in this range overall yeah and 2030 is down here and then you know with your two eyes uh yeah well, you let got... me take a look here so with monovision i basically can go ahead and see the 937826 that's the 2025 line it's a little bit of a struggle to see the 2020 line now like bill if i go ahead and close my distance eye i can still see things about the same, but if I close my near eye and look with my left eye, my distance eye, once again, I have the same issue where I can barely see the 2100 line, 638. I mean, it, no matter what I do, it's just, <laughs> and it's very frustrating because you can't find a spot where you're able to see without glasses. So we'll give beauty a shot. Uh, this is the first time we're trying it. And so we'll hope to see, maybe it'll give us that better vision. So Shamik, if you want to do the unveiling, Sure. So we had to look around Cleveland to find this. This is actually the first bottle that came into Cleveland that we have right here. And it comes bottle right here, green top to it. it says Vuity over there. It's basically pilocarpine ophthalmic solution, 1.25% right over here. So I'll go ahead and open this up. I don't know if you want to put a drop in your sure. here. I'll go ahead and uh, put a drop in. I'll put it, uh, it's indicated for both eyes. So I'm going to put a drop in both eyes and we'll see how it, uh, how it helps. And sometimes drops sting when you put them in, quite frankly, it feels kind of help. like, it sort of feels like a re-wetting drop or like an, oh, art, so art, tears, basically. Yeah, like an artificial tear. It doesn't really have a sting to it. So me? Bill, I'm actually <laughs> not very good at putting my own drops in. I usually, I mean, you know, I'm an eye doctor, I kind of fall <laughs> over. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and put these in for me right here. Yeah, you may, ha you, you may notice that uh, you, you also may not be great at uh, putting drops in. You can always get a friend, spouse, coworker to put one in. So I'll put a uh, drop in okay, both we'll eyes for you. Let's see what it looks like. Have you look up. And then, uh, up a little bit, look up. So I think just maybe a little, I feel a little sting, not too bad actually. Uh, it does feel more like tears overall. And that sensation is basically <clears throat> gone at this point in time. At 20 minutes, I'm looking with both eyes and I can see down to the 2025 line. And like we discussed before, I have one eye that's a little bit better distance, one eye that's a little bit better up close. And I was already seeing about 20, 30 anyway, so I've gained a line or so, but there's not much room to gain. I'm already uh, pretty far down on the chart. But when I look with my sort of distance eye and I see how far I'm getting, now I'm getting to about the 2040 line. So before- 2040, really? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm you seeing were the 2100 yeah. before. So before I was about 2100 near the top, now I'm at 2040, which is 
this line right about there so where my thumb uh, and finger are. So I've gained a lot of vision so far. It's not quite perfect, but at least I can make out those letters. It's, you know, four, two, nine. Um, and, you know, certainly before I was only seeing like kind of up uh, the 636 uh, closer to the top. So, so one point I think that's very important to emphasize yeah. is when people talk about near vision, they always talk about vision around here. But if you think about it, the most common vision that is very important for most of us is actually intermediate vision. It's not distance vision, it's not near vision, but intermediate vision because these days we're very dependent upon all of our digital devices, whether it be a computer, phone, things of that nature. So intermediate vision is something that is right around here. So what you're talking about right here, you may not be able to see up close, but if you can even gain intermediate vision from a functionality standpoint, that's a huge improvement overall. Yeah, that's, that's a great point because, you know, more or less, our lives are often on our phone and we, we're doing so much uh, up close on the phone. And, and so if you can regain the function of using, you know, text, email, uh, dialing friends or whatever it might be up close, you've gained a lot of freedom. And, uh, and so I can pretty much say I can see any of my tasks on my phone. I can see any text easily. And I, I had kind of had gotten into the habit of increasing the font size and now it's quite clear. Um, so I'm curious how far, how far down are you reading? Yeah, let me see what my situation is. So, um, again, with the monovision, um, I'm seeing the 2020 line without any difficulty. If I close my distance eye and look at it with my near eye, I am still seeing the 2020 line. And actually I can, I do feel that I can potentially hold things a little bit closer before it was a little bit out here, but I'm up to here. Now let me see with my distance eye and distance eye. Um, I don't feel like I've gained as much as you have though. Just, I mean, I'm still around the 2070 mark, but I think what we talked about earlier is that for someone that has darker colored irides, I would expect that it may take me a little bit longer to get the full effect. So I'll be curious to see in about an hour or so where I'm at, but, um, I'm, I'm seeing the, and it's interesting because what I'm noticing myself is sort of what you noticed at about the 10 minute mark, whereas that's sort of where I'm kicking in. So I would think that maybe my pupil is starting to get a little bit smaller and we'll have to wait and see where it turns out after that. Any luck with the really small print there? Yeah. Well, so now, yeah, I'm looking at this. Um, He's really pushing the limit. Yeah, here. I'm pushing the limit. I'm really <laughs> trying to get up in the true test. I, before the drop, there's no way I could read anything on the back of this. It was just, it just was all, you know, gray, nothing. And now I can, you know, if I look closely, it says, you know, um, flammable. Yes, yeah, it's warning uh, for external use only, flammable. You know, keep away from flame or fire and flame. Do not use with electro cautery like procedures. We need to keep it away from here. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyways, I'm pretty amazed. You know, there's no way I could read any of that uh, before the drop, and now I'm definitely have the ability to to read quite small print. You know, I don't know if I've been able to see up that close in I don't know five, ten years without glasses. So, anyways, that is very, yeah. Very I don't. Know, can you? Can you? Uh, it's pretty small. Yeah. Warnings for external use only, flammable, keep away from fire or flames, do not yeah. use. But again, I'm using my near eye. Distance eye is still, this is probably what your distance eye was like before. Yeah. I'm curious, when you were looking right now, were you using, you were using both eyes? Both right? eyes, so yeah, okay. I, I think I was using my near eye, even my near eye, could even not, my near had eye you know, you know, had some difficulty. I, I could function with my near eye, but you know, by using VOD, it kind of gave that a, a definitely a boost to even see that smaller print. Another question that uh, indiv individuals may be wondering is, where do I get access to this type of drop? And this drop is something that is not an over-the-counter drop. It is a prescription eye drop. So if someone is interested in getting access to this drop, we strongly encourage you to go ahead and make an appointment either at Clear Choice Laser Eye Center or at Cleveland Eye Clinic. Uh, we can go ahead and do an examination where we can determine that everything is normal except for your presbyopia determine the level of presbyopia, and then we can go ahead and, in some cases, we may have a sample where you can go ahead and try it out to see what the effect is, and then potentially write your prescription so you can take that prescription to the pharmacy and actually get access to the drop. But it's not something that one can just go on their own, but you literally do have to come in to see your eye doctor in order to be able to have access to this type of drop.